Welcome to Tesla Tech Central, in today's video I will be discussing and sharing an insane leak that has been given to me by a Tesla employee about the Tesla Model Y before we get started on the video. I would just like to welcome you to Tesla Tech Central, this is a channel where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk related and whatever else we think is interesting. You'll be able to find news surrounding all of the Tesla 2021 vehicles including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi. As this is a new channel, I would really appreciate it if you could please like and subscribe. Also I just wanted to announce the giveaway winner who is David STPHPYT. So well done to you David STPHP, I have messaged you on the YouTube messaging platform, however. I will be doing another giveaway but this time it will be $50 which will be given to a random subscriber, so to enter all you have to do is be subscribed and that $50 could be yours. Now let's carry on with the video. According to a leaked email from CEO Elon Musk to employees, Tesla is experiencing Model Y manufacturing and supply chain challenges. In addition, Musk makes it clear that he's aware some employees are dealing with difficult conditions on one assembly line. Musk refers to the Model Y, and says, especially GA, as a top priority for production and manufacturing engineering. He points to GA4 as being a top priority for facilities improvement. It's clear he's aware that workers in GA4 are facing tough conditions. According to Business Insider, GA4 is Tesla's sprung structure, tent, that was used to expand the Fremont factory for ramping up Model 3 production. Musk emphasizes the importance of ramping up Model Y production, as well as minimizing rectification needs. Meaning the cars need to be as free of issues as possible. Clearly the company doesn't have time to be reworking these vehicles after regular production is complete. Musk says he hopes the employees understand these priorities, really makes a difference to Tesla right now. In more positive news, the CEO says the automaker is doing reasonably well with the Model 3, Model S, and Model X at this time. Tesla CEO Elon Musk's email reads, It is extremely important for us to ramp up Model Y production and minimize rectification needs. I want you to know that it really makes a difference to Tesla right now. Model Y, especially GA, is the top priority for both production and manufacturing engineering. GA4 is also top priority for facilities improvements. For those working in GA4, thank you for bearing with tough conditions. We'll get better fast, I will be walking the line personally every week. We are doing reasonably well with S, X, and 3, but there are production and supply chain ramp challenges with Model Y, as is always the case for new products. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, Elon. What do you think, was? This expected not only due to COVID-19, but also based on Tesla's past. Does this come as a surprise since the Model Y shares a platform in many parts with the Model 3? In other news, according to an internal email obtained by Business Insider, Tesla's Jerome Guillen is asking employees to help out by delivering vehicles on their days off. Through the end of March, we are expecting a significant increase in our North America delivery volume, Guillen said. To achieve our Q1 goals, we are requesting additional support from team members across the business. The email was sent Friday to employees in Fremont, California, where the new Model Y is currently being produced. Those employees who take Guillen up on the offer will be paid overtime for their efforts. With the first deliveries of the Model Y starting yesterday, and with this final push in the last few weeks of the quarter, Tesla has a good shot at meeting their Q1 goals and possibly setting another record for deliveries in the quarter. Tesla is showing impressive sales numbers in China, already accounting for one-third of all EV sales. In other news to do with the Tesla Model Y, the new Tesla Model Y has arrived in the UK and customers are taking delivery of the all-electric model at select events around the country. Handover events will take place at seven locations including Aerospace Bristol, the American Air Museum in Cambridge, the Imperial War Museum in Manchester, Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire and Oyster Catcher in Anglesey. Also, Tesla Model Y vehicles were spotted leaving Giga Texas on car carriers recently. The sighting hints that Tesla's goal to deliver Giga Texas made Model Ys to customers by the end of the first quarter is going according to plan. At the last earnings call, 
Tesla announced that Giga Texas and Berlin production started in the previous quarter, Q4 2021. During his opening remarks, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Austin-built Model Y vehicles are equipped with structural battery packs and 4,680 cells. Tesla plans to deliver Giga Texas Model Ys once the vehicle receives final certification. So in Texas, we're building the Model Ys with the structural battery pack and the 4,680 cells, and we'll start delivering after final certification of the vehicle, which should be fairly soon, Musk said at Tesla's Q4 and full-year 2021 earnings call. Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, added that the company was making meaningful progress of the ramp curve in Cato, where Tesla is currently producing 4,680 cells in a pilot line. He shared that Tesla was building 4,680 structural battery packs every day and assembling them in Giga Texas vehicles. And we believe our first 4,680 vehicles will be delivered this quarter, Baglino stated. Our focus on the cell, the pack, and the vehicles here is driving yield quality and cost to ensure we're ready for larger volumes this year as we ramp in next year. And the 4,680 and pack tool installations here at Giga Austin are progressing well, with some areas producing the first parts. The journey of Tesla's 4,680 cells has been long and filled with challenges, so seeing Model Y vehicles equipped with the batteries is exciting to those following its developments. Tesla unveiled its 4,680 cells during Battery Day in September 2020. By Q2 2021, Tesla admitted to facing challenges with its 4,680 pilot production line in Cato Road, mainly when it tried to transition from small-scale production to large-volume production. Right now, we have a challenge with basically what's called calendaring, or basically squashing the cathode material to a particular height, Musk explained at the time. So it just goes through these rollers and gets squashed like pizza dough, basically, but very hard pizza dough. And it's causing, it's denting the calendar rolls. This is not something that happened when the calendar rolls were smaller, but it is happening when the calendar rolls were bigger. However, Tesla seemed to have overcome most challenges with 4,680 cell production. By August 2021, a Tesla investor claimed that the production yield of the 4,680 cells rose to about 70% to 80%, suggesting that the company was making progress in solving its calendaring issue. More recent reports hinted that the production yield of 4,680 cells had been vastly improved since. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. I would really appreciate it if you do this as it really helps support the channel. On this channel we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk related and whatever else we think is interesting. You'll be able to find news surrounding all of the Tesla 2021 vehicles including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi if you are subscribed with notifications on. Until next time, see you later.